Jason JV on YouTube. He's the guy that did the F Gonna Give It To You song, and you need to check him out. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah! Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? Give me a shout, man, and just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Thank you for being such a long-time fan. You gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby! Oh! Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another review video. And yes, yes, y'all. Um, kind of a different review that we're doing. Um, lately, I've been um, picking up videos like this in uh, my suggested videos. Um, and I've just been watching these. There's another YouTuber who does similar videos to these. And I don't know, I just feel like you know, it's a sign from my man upstairs, you know what I mean? The Heavenly Father and the good Lord above, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I feel like I, I need to do this review. And uh, shout out to Angela Sanchez right quick. Um, I did get your request. I will be getting to your request. I will honor your, your request, but I really need to get this one out of the way. Well, not out of the way. I'm sorry. I don't mean to put it that way. I feel like this was something that I needed to hit up, something that I needed to do because... You know, for reasons that are beyond my understanding, um, I've been getting hit with these videos and I feel like somebody is telling me to do reviews or reactions to videos like these. So let's go ahead and get into this one. This one comes to us from, from my man, uh, Mark the Messenger. Uh, this is a video that he did called Seven Signs Someone in Your Life is a Demon. Um, and like I said, this will be a review because I gave this a once over and my man made some very interesting points um, that that little did I know I have experienced firsthand, you know what I mean? Because of the people that um, that have come and gone into my life, you know what I'm saying? And um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this and you guys will see what, exactly what I'm talking about. Let me get the phones on, well, at least one on. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get right into this thing thing, but I like in the hit here. Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back with another video. This one's going to be about seven signs you're dealing with a demon in someone, okay? This video is about to be a classic. I'm going in. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead. Guys, a lot Oops. of times we're on. Sorry, y'all. Uh, so let me actually let me wind that back a little bit because I want to read uh, that little scripture okay. that my man had posted. So, um, Please forgive me if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I believe it's uh, Ephesians, right? Or Ephesians, Ephesians, uh, six twelve King James Version, uh, twelve. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay. This video is about to be a classic. I'm going in, guys. A lot of times we're unaware of the spiritual warfare. We're unaware of spirits that are possessing certain vessels. And he is not wrong. Like I said, uh, what the examples that he gives, or at least all the things that he has listed there that, that he's going to address, um, I have experienced this and I had no idea that um, what I was dealing with goes beyond than what meets the eye. You know what I'm saying? Right, let's go. And we engage and we go back and forth trying to help somebody or trying to put some common sense into somebody and you find yourself drained. You find yourself like your energy feels drained. Like you just feel like low. Mm -hmm. You're talking to a demon. Okay. Yes. Let's mm -hmm. get it. Let's go. Don't forget, guys, to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Number one, the number one thing a demon does, guys. Now, this is not an order, but one thing a demon does, okay, they pro they provoke you to anger. They provoke you to rage, to get mad. Even the Bible says that in your anger, sin not, neither give place unto the devil. Okay. So Ephesians uh, 426-27, King James Version 26. Be ye angry and sin not, let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. So, yes, I do know some people, you know, that I don't know at the time what was going on with them, but this makes total sense to me. But for some reason, uh, people that I've spoken with, people that I deal with or and have dealt with, um, yeah, for some reason, because 
I don't know, maybe because they're they're miserable or whatever, or they're whatever's going on with them. For some reason, they they just need to get you to react to them, even if it's you know, even if it means provoking you to, as my man said, to rage out, feel anger. Yes, I I'm not gonna lie, I'm not perfect by any means. I have let people provoke me into raging out against them. You know what I mean? Into being angry at them, and now I get why. I see why why those people are like that. It makes total sense. Anyway. Okay. So when you're angry, when you're raging, you could uh, awaken your demons. Okay. And that's one thing that a demon does. They, they lie. And how, how can they make... There's many things they can make you angry. There's many ways they can make you rage. Uh, they can lie. The, the, the Bible says that the devil and is a father of lies. Okay. So what these demons do, they're going to lie. They use that as a weapon. Just like the Bible says, we have our spiritual weapons, the word of God, prayer. Yep, I know people like this, you know what I mean, who lie, and they lie because they're trying to, you know, to provoke a reaction out of you, a negative reaction out of you. They're fasting. These demons have their weapons too, okay? Mm -hmm. Lies, slander, gossip. I'm going to go in this video, okay? So that is one thing they do, okay? You are dealing with a demon when someone's over. And this is why I've been having issues with diss tracks lately, you know what I mean? It's a lot of gossip, a lot of, you know, um... A lot of other BS going on and stuff like that. I feel like diss tracks, they kind of fall into that, into all that, that negativity, you know what I mean? And that toxicity, you know what I'm saying? Probably going to burn some bridges with that, but you know what? I don't care, man. I, I don't, I'm done with negativity, you know what I mean? I'm done with toxicity, you know? So if I lose people over that, that's fine with me, you know? Y'all know where the door is and, you know, it is what it is. Always try to get you angry. Someone's always trying to get you mad, whether it's through whatever they're trying to do through lies. Um, anything you're going through, guys, always understand that you are dealing with a demon. Someone's always trying to make you mad. Someone's always trying to make you rage. That is the spirit using their vessels to, to like I said, to awaken your demons. Okay, because when you when you get when you rage, when the sun goes down, you allow the devil in your life, in your household. Okay, and that that, that is true. That is true. Remember. Uh, all things negative, including such things as like n anger, you know what I mean, rage, that all associates with the devil, with Satan himself, bruh. That's one thing the devil wants. He, the devil wants you to go back and forth with these demons because. And there's people who've been that that I've been seeing that that embrace the idea, you know what I mean, of like the devil and everything, because they use you know imagery of the devil of Satan, and it's like okay, whoa. Now you're going too far with, 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 with what you're doing, um, and I'm not about that energy, so I'm keeping my distance. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. But it's not wise to do that. Even the Bible says that. Um... So this is Proverbs uh, 9-7-8, King James Version 7. He that, re I'm probably going to say some words wrong, so please forgive me. Uh, he that reprovets a scorner uh, getteth to himself shame. And he that re rebuketh with a wicked man get himself a blot. Uh, reprove not a or eight. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Hmm. When you when you correct a wicked person, you get you receive yourself a blot. Okay. When you, when you correct a wicked person, you receive, you receive yourself a blot, and it says that. Uh, don't argue with a fool unless you become like one. So when you argue, basically what he's saying, when you argue with a fool, it only proves that there's not just one fool, but two fools. Agree with a fool when you go back and forth with a fool. You, you, the Bible says you're a fool too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so guys, we must have spiritual, a spiritual mind, not a carnal mind, to understand. Okay, this person's a demon. This person's being used by the devil. Let me walk, walk away. Okay, that's wisdom to walk away. That's wisdom, guys. Number two. Okay. One, the, the second thing that a demon will do, guys, they'll bait you for a reaction, okay? Like I said, we have our weapons, prayer, fasting, the word of God, right? These demons, they have their weapons too, okay? Gossip, lies, the devil's the father of lies, okay? Hate, deceit. And uh, some reasons why I've been distancing myself from certain people is because of, like, my man, the first thing my man underlined when going through these, gossip. I'm hearing people... Wasting their time talking about other people and what other people are doing. And it's like, dude, or chick, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to hear about what someone else is doing, you know, what someone else is talking about. I'm here to see you, what you got going on. And um, 
you're not gonna talk about you and what you got going on, then um, I, I'm good, man. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, like, like I said, I don't need that negative energy anywhere near me, and therefore I'm gonna distance myself from there. You know what I mean, bruh? Lies. Like I said, I've seen people use lies to, uh, as he, as it says right here, bait you for a reaction. You know what I'm saying? And this is something that I need to work on, because this is something that I'm, I'm still struggling with, but. Yes, I do feel like some people, they, they utilize these things like gossip, like lies, you know what I mean, to bait you for a reaction, and I gotta stop satisfying people like this, you know what I mean? I gotta stop giving people this kind of, a, th that satisfaction of giving them what they want. Don't match negative energy with negative energy, basically. Slander. There's many things they could do, but this one okay, I fit in the whiteboard, okay? Gossip, lies, hate, slander, deceit, and, uh, and uh, hate. Okay, these are all weapons they use mm -hmm. to try to get you to react. Okay, mm -hmm. to, for a reaction, bait you for reaction. And then, and what slander that's something that I never really have any issues with. I always tell people all the time, hey, if you really want to know me, get to know me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I always tell people too, whenever someone talks about somebody else, you know, and they're damaging someone else's reputation, you know, make sure you get to know that person first before you make up your own in, in, before you make up your own mind as to whether or not you like or don't like that person. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I can't tell you how many times throughout my life, in my personal life, whether it was in the workforce or, you know, personally, like with friends and family, whatever, how people would talk about somebody, you know what I mean? And then I would meet that person that they talk about and that person turns out to not be such a bad person. You know what I'm saying? Like they were always good to me. So I was like, okay, um, I don't know what other what, what these other people that, that are talking ill of you saw, but from what I can tell, you're 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 a good person to me, and therefore I got no problems with you. You know what I'm saying? I like you. You know I can respect you. You know what I mean? Come basically, you come at me with love and respect, I will give you the same in return. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah, I mean, this is why you know when it comes to gossip and I feel like gossip and slander, they all kind of walk, they pretty much walk hand in hand. Well, I guess you could say deceit, lies, hate, and all that stuff. Yeah, they all pretty much walk hand in hand when it comes to, you know, people trying to damage other people's rep rep reputations because, oh, that person was negative towards them. But then that person that was negative towards them, when, when you find out that that negative person is not really a negative person, they really are, they really are a nice person, you start to ask the question, well, what did this person say or do, you know what I'm saying? To provoke a negative uh, response from this person whose reputation that they're trying to damage. You know what I'm saying? Like, hmm. Some people need, need to check themselves before they wreck themselves. I'm just saying. When, when it bases your reaction, right, it leads to anger and rage. Which now, mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 20, uh, 26, 27, you're now allowing the devil in. Okay? And like I said, that's what the demons want. Guys, you can't. You can't go back and forth Excuse with these me. type of spirits. You just can't. You're never going to win. They win. You want to win. Okay, now, uh, uh, this is how you win. This is how you win. By walking away. Going, you know, walking. Facts. Facts. Whenever you're in a situation, right, where there's, like, negative energy, you know what I'm saying? There's all these negative things going on. Gossip, lies, hate, seat, you know what I'm saying, or whatever else. Don't be afraid to walk away. Never be afraid to walk away. Walking away doesn't mean that you're a coward. Okay, or as some will call you a a pussy. It, it, there, there's no shame in walking away from negativity. You know what I'm saying? If anything, it makes you the bigger person. It makes you the better person. Don't let other people's negative vibes, you know what I'm saying? Negative energy bring you down with them. That's what they want. They want because they're in such a low state. You know what I'm saying? They they want to bring other people down with them. It's the whole misery loves company rule. You know what I'm saying? It's that whole thing. You know what I mean? Misery loves company. When when certain people are low, they want others around them to be low with them. And it's like, why? Why? Why why allow yourself to go through that? It's not worth it. Don't be afraid to walk away. In your peace. Whatever they think, whatever they want to say, let them say it. You walk away and you focus. Facts. Let let them say whatever they want to say about you, okay? What other people think of you, even though it's about you, what other people think of you, it is never any of your business, okay? The only one that knows truly the kind of person that you are is you. Nobody knows you better than you. Let's go. Focus on your purpose. Do what you're doing, okay? That's how you win. 
Mm-hmm. Don't don't give them your energy. Facts. Don't give them your energy. Facts. Number three, speaking of energy, demons they feed they feed off your energy by your reaction, okay, mm-hmm. or by your attention, right? They feed off your they feed and drain of uh, you of your energy. Yes, that's what a demon does. Like I said, guys, in the beginning, you ever feel like you're next to somebody you're, you're talking, and you kind of just feel drained. Like you just feel like what the heck? Like you just kind of feel drained. You know, you feel kind of low. Like you just feel like a bad vibe. Okay, you were. Yep, I know I have many a times, especially recently. Next, you know, a good chance you are next to a demon. Yes, yes. Or if you're conversating with somebody, like let's say if you're at the grocery store and uh, let's say you're, you know, you're about to, you're in aisle number eight, you're about to get some ice cream or whatever, and you see someone and you smile at them, you know, hey, hi, you know, how are you doing? You know, hope you're having a good day, whatever, you know, a basic, basic conversation. And they look at you like this, you know, like all, like all means, and you kind of feel drained. That was a demon, bro. I'm telling you, that was a demon, okay? Yes, yes, it's a spiritual warfare. Not everybody you see, guys, is a real human. I'm going to make a video on this, too. Not everyone you see is a real human, okay? So that's one thing a demon does. They feed and drain off your energy, okay? You got to protect your energy out here. Don't be so quick to get into friendship with somebody. Don't be so quick to uh, to get in a relationship with someone. Now, some people might... And he's not wrong there. I say, oh, you're just paranoia, schizophrenic, whatever. No, I'm telling you guys, especially if you're a warrior for God, you can't be friends with everybody. You can't be. You can't just be you know, so quick to you know give your heart to people. Even the Bible says to guard your heart. And something I want to uh, I want to piggyback on with um, in in that regard, I remember very recently I was talking with a girl, <clears throat> right, and this girl basically was trying to guilt trip me into maintaining a relationship with her. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're ever in a situation right when you're trying to establish a relationship with somebody, right? And you're trying to build that relationship on love. And for some reason, you don't feel love because the person you're trying to establish a relationship with with you is playing games with your heart. I mean, playing games with you, playing some mind games with you. You know what I mean? Trying to make you, you know, feel bad. You know what I mean? At times when you shouldn't have. Like, this person did me because uh, that's exactly what happened. Not only was this person uh, trying to guilt trip me, trying to make, but they also try to make me feel bad in situations where I shouldn't feel bad. You know what I'm saying? And, um, there were a few battles that we've had that I've lost, you know what I mean? Cause you know, I let them, you know, <clears throat> get to me, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, but then finally I had to put my foot down and just say, no, no, I'm not doing this with you anymore. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to continue this game with you anymore. We're done. We're good. And I cut them off. You know what I'm saying? That's what you need to do. In a situation like that, don't let people make you feel like, like you have to be with them. You know what I mean? Because that's not that's not love. Guilt is not love. So if you feel like you're you're being guilted into a relationship, that's not a relationship that you should be in. And get out, get out while you can, get out while you still have your your uh, sanity, if if you will, bruh. Okay. Yeah, because if you if you don't guard your heart. The enemy could use that as an axis and get someone to break your heart. Now you feel drained. Now you feel drained. So, yes, guys, when I say don't be so quick to be friends with somebody, get in a relationship, I mean to test people, okay? Even the Bible says we're called to test people's spirits, okay? Because if you don't test someone's spirit, you could end up with a demon. You could end up with, you know, someone who has a demon in them and then see Mm -hmm. that person who has a demon in them. If you're not wise enough, they could throw that demon on you, okay? They Mm -hmm. They could throw it on you. Number four. Ooh, yep, yep, okay. Signs you're done with a demon, man. Secret motives and hindered, uh, hindered agendas. They're sneaky, okay? And see, one thing about these demons, right? When, if they were sent, sent by the devil, whatever, right? If they were sent they, they, in the beginning, oh, they... So let's see here. Proverbs 26, 24-26, King James Version 24. Uh, he that hateth uh, dissembleth with his lips and layeth up the seat within him 25 when he speaketh fair believe him not uh for there are uh seven abominations in his heart so that's where the whole uh the seat thing comes into play right when someone is is saying the things that they think you want to hear right it's something that and it's it's something that you want to hear right and you want to believe it be careful because you know they say oh that it's too good to be true 
odds are that's one of those situations, right? It's too good to be true. This person that is speaking all these good things, that, that these, these beautiful words that you want to hear, odds are this person's probably too good to be true. They can be ha they can be hiding some some uh, like 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 he said, man, some some secret agenda when it comes to you. You know what I mean? Like they've chosen you for their agenda. You know, so be careful. Be be very wary. Uh, let's see, 26, uh, whose hatred is covered by deceit, as I said earlier. Um, his wickedness shall be uh, shewed before the whole congregation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They compliment you. They, they, you know, they say, oh, I like what you're doing. Um, you know, they, they tell you things to, to lure you in so you could be friends with them. That sneaky, okay? But in their heart, even the Bible says, I love a verse right here, they got a, seven abominations in their heart. Okay, mm -hmm. whenever they speak fair, believe it not. Okay, believe it not. They got set, uh, seven abominations in there. I think it's six or seven abominations. I'll leave a verse right here. I don't want to say that wrong. But yes, guys, the one thing about a demon, they're sneaky. They got hidden mo motives, secret agendas. If they, whenever they, if they were sent by the devil to destroy you, because like I said, what does the devil come to do? And these demons come to do to steal, kill, and destroy. And how can they just? How can someone? How can a demon come to your life and just hate you in the beginning? No, he, they're going to compliment you, tell you everything you want to hear, tickle your ears. Oh, you so cute. Oh. Proverbs 2017. Bread of deceit is sweet to a man, but afterwards his mouth shall be filled with gravel. Oh, you so cute. Oh, you so fine. Um, you know, bribe you, buy you things. You know, some people call it a narcissist. Okay, you know, um, and like I can tell you guys all the time, a narcissist, guys, it's a spirit behind that. Okay, the devil was the first narcissist on this earth. So always mm -hmm. keep that in mind. It's just a spirit on these people. Okay, like I said, you're dealing with a demon. Demon is a spirit. So always keep that in mind. Seek your moment. When someone's trying to destroy your life, they're not going to come to you when you first meet them uh, and hate and try to get mad at you, try to kill you. No, they're going to compliment you, you know. And see, just like how um, there's a, there's an animal when it um, what's the animal? So let's see the boiling frog. The boiling frog is a fable describing a frog being slowly boiled alive. The premise is that if a frog is put suddenly into boiling water, it will jump out. But if the frog is put in tepid water, which is which is then brought to a boil slowly, it will not perceive the danger and will be cooked to death. So when an animal stays in the hot water, some of you guys know what I'm talking about, um, and the, the water gets hotter and hotter, it gets comfortable and it stays in there. Okay. Um, hopefully, I can, I'll leave a picture right here. I don't want to say that. I, I forgot what the animal is called. It just came to my mind right now. And that's what happens to some of us. We get in these relationships with these type of people yep. and we just stay comfortable, even though we're getting burned, even though we're, yep. you know, about to be spiritually assassinated. Yep. Whether it's a, um, like a intimate relationship you're trying to have with someone exclusively or, a, a, or a, a friendship that you're trying to have with certain people, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. It doesn't matter, you know what I mean? Um, it, it's very attractive and everything, you know what I mean? To the point where, like he said, we get very comfortable with our situation and we're afraid to, you know, write people off when we know for a fact that these people are doing us dirty when they're, when they're burning us, as he said. And we got to get out of that. We got to get out of that that way, you know what I mean? Right. Okay, so that's why I said, just because when, so when someone's coming to you, you know, we, see, we don't know this. And the people who are not wise, we don't know the secret motives. We don't know the hidden agendas, which is why we must be led by wisdom. Have wisdom in your life, guys, so you could so you could understand, okay, you know, wisdom and understanding. So you can understand, okay, this person's not right for me because wisdom always leads us. Wisdom always shows us the way, okay? Uh, number five, okay, is get you to be friends with this world because when you're a friend of the world, you're not an enemy of God and you're operating in darkness, Okay, so get you to be friends with the world, and like he said, when you're friends with the world, you're an enemy of God, and operate in darkness. That's something to think about, and that's why you know I shut myself off from you know television and things like that because you know I don't I don't really care about what's what's going on in the world. I just want to you know focus on me and myself right now and get get myself together and everything and to make sure that I'm in the right place. I need to be with my Heavenly Father, with my Lord. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. One thing. 
See, uh, James 4 4, King James Version, for ye adulterers and adulteresses, um, know ye not that the friendship of the world is is and is enmity with I hope I'm saying that correctly, enmity with with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. I know this about the demons who came disguised as a friend. They wanted to be be friends with their friends, and their friends that were demons too. And it is just keeping you in darkness. Now you now you find yourself backsliding. Now you find yourself when demons can't get to you, they're going to get to everyone around you, destroy what you are building. I think that's what that should be saying. So going back to your own vomit, that is what, that's the whole goal of the enemy. And see, this is, like I said, guys, this is a spiritual warfare. The devil attacks those. So when you're, when, when you the only one that's blessed in your circle, the wicked, and, and the unrighteous will try to use you and you'll become a dead battery when they can't use you they will try to slander your name hmm hmm <laughs> hmm those who are on the right path the devil attacks those who are doing what god wants them to do in their life or, or her wants, wants god wants her to do in their life that's who the devil's targeting He's not targeting the people who are just, you know, not even trying to, not even trying to uh, keep up the good fight. He's not targeting the people who are just living their life, whatever they want. They're not a threat to the kingdom of darkness. He's attacking people who are a threat to the kingdom of God, or you have a high calling in your life, or you're just, you know, you have a simple calling in your life. It doesn't matter if it's high or low. As long as you have a calling from God, that's all that matters. He doesn't want you to reach that calling. Okay, so he's going to do as best he can. If, if one demon can't work, let's, you know, combine him with other friends. I, I noticed this, guys, in my lifetime, my experience, I was friends with one person, and this dude was this, he was an evil person. And through him, I was, I, I made friends with one of his friends. I met him through him, and that person was just as worse. And see, that person was very, that person had secret motives, hidden agendas, mm -hmm. you know, t complimenting me in my face. And then people were telling me, oh, no, he was talking bad behind you. Like, what? But the whole time in my face, you know, he's smiling. You know, he's calling me, bro. He's shaking. And, see, and again, going back to the woman that tried to guilt trip me into a relationship with her. She was the same kind of person that would tell me, oh, this person was, is, is talking shit about you, whatever, speaking ill about you. Uh, they were, you know what I mean? They're, they're, they're saying that, that, you know, you don't be taking what you're doing seriously and stuff like that. This and that and the other. And I'm like, hmm, okay. Okay. Um, and, and I always ask myself this question, why aren't people actually saying this to my face? You know what I mean? And, um, why do I have to hear from like this, this person or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, and yeah, and, and this is another good reason why I'm glad that I don't talk to this person directly anymore. So, you know, is what it is. And they still try to talk to me, you know, through various chats and whatnot, but I ignore them. You know what I mean? Because my man raised no fool. I learned from my mistakes. In my hand. Oh, I love you, dog. You my dog. You my bro. But behind my back, he's talking. See, that's a snake. Mm -hmm. That's a snake, man. So you got to be very careful with that. So yeah, you gotta be watch. Gotta be wary of them snakes. You know what I mean? They talk all nice and friendly to to you when they when they see you. You know what I mean? To your front, and then behind their back, they're saying something completely opposite, something completely different. Hmm. That's one thing I noticed about the demons. They try to get you to be friends with their, their other demons. Okay. Number six. They play ooh, ooh, they play victim and accuse you of the things they did. Oh. They play victim and accuse you of things they did and play with your and see that's just to play with your emotions. Cause like I said Oh yeah, I know plenty of people who play the victim card. <laughs> I'm just saying, I know plenty of people who played the victim card, you know what I mean, and uh, have accused me of doing things that I, I have no control over, I have no power over, you know what I'm saying, and uh, yeah. That emotions, they feed off, they're trying to feed off your energy, okay, and you know, if they're playing with your emotions, that's energy, you're going to feel low, you're going to feel drained, you're going to have a hard mm -hmm. time sleeping at night, and see, even the Bible says that. And this is why... I've learned to let people like that just 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 let them talk. 
it ain't worth it. Like like my man said here, you know what I mean? When you're trying to argue with a with a fool, you're only proving that there's two. So it's best to just let people like that talk. The wicked, they can't even sleep at night unless they cause someone to fall, unless they cause someone's trouble in their life, unless they cast a stone at someone, try to tear someone down. They can't even sleep at night unless they do that. <laughs> That's a wicked, okay? So one thing they'll do is they'll play victim. So after they provoked you to rage and anger, okay? After they try to bait, bait you for reaction through the hate, through the lies, through the deceit, through the slander, through the gossip, after they're feeding and draining off your energy, after they did all these things, right? Now they're playing victim. Now they're the mm -hmm. innocent one. Mm -hmm. Now they're blaming you. Even though you're the, you're the victim, but they're trying to blame you. These are all mind games. They play mind games with you, yep. which is a form of witchcraft. And that should have been number eight. Man, I have no space on the board, but that's... So remember, when people are trying to mess with your head, they're trying to play games with your head, they are performing some form of witchcraft. You know what I mean? When you allow them to mess with your head, to get into your head, they're performing some some form of witchcraft. And therefore, it is best for you. And don't let them do it. Even if it means having to walk away from that situation. Don't be afraid to walk away. Do what is best for you, for your, for, for your sanity, for your mental health, for your well-being. Do what is best for you. That should have been number eight. Mind games, a form of witchcraft, manipulation. Yes, guys, witchcraft comes in many forms. Okay, It's not just tarot cards and you, you seek in a medium and you know, all that type of stuff. No, someone manipulating your mind, that is a form of witchcraft. Okay, That's what these demons do. Like I said, that's mm -hmm. the weapons of the enemy. Manipulation. See, when, when, when someone causes trouble and chaos in your life and they play victim, that is a demon. That is an evil person. Okay, That's someone who has, doesn't probably doesn't even have a soul, an organic portal. Number seven, speaking of the soulless, when they destroy you, they will act like nothing happened. Wow. Big facts. Big facts. I know people in my personal life who have done such horrible things to me, you know, get me down. You know what I mean? Make me feel like, you know, feel like, feel, feel like, um, like, like crap, like hell. You know what I'm saying? And even though I know I shouldn't. And then they act like nothing's happened. Like oh I I I I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't I didn't do those things to you. I didn't I didn't tell you those things. Yes, you did. I remember um, a cousin of mine who I had gone back into contact with gave me a half-assed apology for for what they did. They tried to like they act like you know I don't even remember what what happened. Why we were even, even like at odds with each other, whatever. You know what I mean? And then had the nerve to say that that they forgive me. And it's like, forgive me for what? Like I said, I'm not perfect. I mean, I'm sure I've done something too, but I mean, but I'm the kind of person that when I do something wrong, I'm not afraid to, you know, acknowledge it, own it, and I'll apologize for it. That's who I am. But if you're going to give me some lame, half-assed apology, talking about, oh, like, you know, I don't remember, you know, like, why we were at odds or anything that happened or whatever, you know. But um, I just want to let you know that, yeah, everything's cool, everything's squashed or whatever. Like, nah, dude, acknowledge what you did. Acknowledge what you've done to me. Give me a real apology. Man up. Give me a real apology. Don't give me this this half-ass, this, this half you know, paragraph, you know what I'm saying, that you think I want to hear. Well, yeah, it, it sounds nice. Don't get me wrong. But at least acknowledge what you've done and apologize. Be a man. Apologize. Because I can appreciate that. I can respect that. Oh, bro. Wow. Okay. Like I said, and that's soulless. Because, like, think we all did something. It, it, it is soulless. And, like, he's about to get into it right now. I don't mean to pause at these weird places, but he's like, yeah, man. Like, we've all done stuff. We all did someone wrong in our life, right? Yep. Yep. We all hurt someone, you know, no one's perfect, okay? Facts. And when we, when we, when us people with souls, us people who love God, right, mm -hmm. who, who are of the light, when we hurt people, we, you know, we feel bad, you know, it could be like a couple days later, a couple weeks, we feel bad, like, and we, we apologize, you know? Yep. It, now, not everyone is, is, has to accept our apology, that's on them. But That's true. Or, you know, we feel like guilt, we feel shame, like, you know, why did I have... Exactly, like I said, I know when I done wrong, 
and there's things that I've done so long ago that I still feel guilt for. I still feel bad for, you know what I'm saying? And that I, I'm still like very um, remorseful, re remorseful for, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and like I said, I'm not afraid to apologize. And I tell people many times because like I said, I'm not perfect. You know what I mean? But then I still got people, you know what I mean, coming down on me, breathing down my throat, talking about, man, you did this and you said that, or the way you did this, the way you said that and everything. And it's like, okay, I get it. I acknowledge it. I'm I'm owning up to it. You're right. I apologize. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, all right. I, I get it. I see what you're, where, where you're coming from. I, I feel what you're saying, and you're right, and, and I'm wrong, and I apologize. That's me being humble. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's me feeling bad and feeling guilty. You know what I mean? And being humble enough as a man to acknowledge when I'm wrong and, and, and I'll apologize for it. You know what I'm saying? But people sometimes don't give you that opportunity and they just want to be mad at you for the sake of just wanting to be mad at you. You know? Bruh. I never do that. You know, God forgive me. Or it's that person that help you forgive me. You know, if they don't forgive me, See, if you do not renounce sin, you will never win spiritual war because your sin gives strength to the demons in the spirit world to oppose you. Like I said, no one's obligated to forgive you. But, you know, as long as you had, you know, hey, I'm sorry, sorry for doing what I did. And, you know, these demons, these evil people, they don't do that. Mm -hmm. They play victim. They, they, they act. Exactly. Yep. They play victim. They act like they're, they're the victims, even though they're the ones who committed the sin. They committed the crime. They have the nerve to play the victim role because that's that's just part. That's just who they are. That's in their nature. Act like they did nothing. Nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Oh man, <laughs> I'm laughing because it brings. There is a nonstop battle between the soldiers of God and the evil army in the spiritual realm and in the world. Back memories, bro. But many people in my life. Okay, these are the seven signs you are dealing. with with a demon in someone number one mm -hmm. provokes you to anger to rage yep okay it's provokes you to which is something i still need to work on i feel like i'm getting better with that but i still need to work on that anger and rage number two bet you for reaction with gossip lies which i feel like that those two are pretty much the same i mean i mean if not a, really similar i mean they're pretty much the same provoke you to rage and or anger bait you for a reaction it's pretty much the same thing um it's just, but with gossip, lies, hate, deceit, and slander. So really, you could have, you know, you could have really put these two together because, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. But anyway. It's hate, deceit. That's just me being nit nitpicky. And slander, like I said, these are all the weapons of the enemy. Number three mm -hmm. is they will feed and drain off your energy. True. So if you're ever in a situation where you're, you're, you're just like, <sighs> you know what I mean? Even though... It, it's it's you're you're still giving them a, a a reaction you know what i mean because you're like oh, like really i'm done with this crap again you're still giving them a reaction even though it may not be directed towards them you're just angry with the situation and whatever it doesn't matter if they're the cause of it you're still giving them what they want you're still giving them your your energy or it's better if you just ignore the situation if possible or better yet just walk away from the situation just leave again there's no shame in that Number four is secret motives and hidden agendas or sneaky. Number five is to get you to be friends of this world mm -hmm. because that's an enemy of God, James chapter four, verse four, and to operate in darkness, okay? Number six is they play victim mm -hmm. and they accuse you of the things they did. Mm -hmm. okay? They'll play with your emotions. They're basically hypocrites. Which is a form of manipulation, which is a form of witchcraft. Number seven is <sighs> when they destroy you, they will act like nothing happened. Mm -hmm. They will act like they didn't, they didn't know it wrong. Okay, mm -hmm. they're soulless. Okay, mm -hmm. I hope you guys learned something in this video. If you have already, make sure you guys smack. All right, so that's pretty much the end of the video. We'll go ahead and cut it off right there. And I will definitely subscribe to my dude, uh, Mark the Messenger, because I am appreciating uh, the message he is uh, conveying here in this video. Definitely giving that the like, you know what I mean? Because he deserves a like for this video. And uh, yeah, so. Hopefully you guys can understand why I am the way that I am. You know what I mean? Because a lot of what he's saying here, again, these are situations and the type of people that I've dealt with, whether it's in my personal life or in my professional life. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm, you know, I'm still dealing with people like that. Again, whether it's in my personal life or my professional life, doesn't matter. There's people on both sides that demonstrate these characteristics. You know what I mean? That demonstrating these traits, whether they know it or not. You know, um, I can't say for sure. You know what I mean? Uh, whether they realize this or not, they're they're doing it, and hopefully, hopefully, this video will help people like that. Although I don't know, wishful thinking, but hopefully, this will encourage people who are like that to see the errors of their ways and be willing to make a change for the better. You know what I'm saying? So they can be, you know, a better person, a better human being to those around them. You know what I'm saying? Um, cause yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm at a point where like, I'm done dealing with people like this, you know? And, um, I find it ironic how other people, whether again, it's your personal life or your professional life, there's people around you, they're going to be like, you know, why can't you be humble? Why can't you, you know, acknowledge your wrongdoings and stuff? You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to send it to a person like that and tell them, why can't you do the same? Why can't you humble your, yourself to the things that you know you're doing wrong? You know what I'm saying? Man up, woman up, whatever the case. Own what, 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 what you've done that's negative and apologize for that. You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause maybe, just maybe, we can get somewhere to where we can both be in a better place with ourselves, with our lives. Anyways, guys, uh, so that is the seven signs someone in your life is a demon from Mark the Messenger. Really hope you guys dig this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to react to more videos like this. I would be more than happy to do so. There is another YouTuber um, that does similar videos. Um, like this and uh, that I would be more than happy to uh, react to or review um, depending if I watch their video or not um, and uh, yeah and we can definitely talk about this you know what I'm saying so yeah again more than welcome to provide your feedback in the comment section down below I may not respond to every comment but I do read them all and I do at least hit them with a like and or a heart so that way you guys know I'm checking your comments you know what I'm saying and uh, yeah, don't forget to check out, of course, all the links in the description down below. If you want to watch and uh, listen to this video on your own free time, uninterrupted, you know where the link will be. And uh, go ahead and uh, support my man, Mark the Messenger. Uh, let's see. He is currently sitting at 401k subs. And uh, if, if you're new to Mark the Messenger and you're liking the message that, that he's um, delivering on his channel, go support my man. You know what I'm saying? And let him know that your boy, Jason JV, does sent you. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. And uh yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're digging what I'm doing over here. And I think that pretty much covers it. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JVs. And y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace.